Starting tonight in Greenville, a group of Democratic and progressive groups held a candidate forum. WNCT's Tamara Scott was at the meeting, joins us now with more. Tamara. That's right, Ken. The purpose of this forum is to inform the public, especially ECU students, about the power they hold in local elections. Coming up, however, it was a lack of participation that concerns organizers. Most students basically, you know, they live here nine months of the year, so they are residents of the city of Greenville. What they don't recognize is the fact that the decisions that are made at the local level are the decisions that really impact them the most directly. Several Democratic and progressive groups came together today on ECU's campus to hold a forum for local Greenville candidates. Organizer of the event, Zachary Pate, says he wants to open students' eyes to the power they hold in local elections. I want them to understand is there are two sides of, of, of the political spectrum that are being represented in the candidates that are running for mayor, city council, and at large in the city of Greenville. But a nearly empty room for discussion was discouraging for Pate. It is a little bit disappointing, um, but it does not, it's, it's not going to deter us. The decisions that are made at the local level are the decisions that really really impact them the most directly so they should be involved and know what's going on and understand which candidates represent what values and, and what initiatives. Mayoral candidate Calvin Mercer, District 3 candidate Uriah Ward and U.S. House candidate Jenny Marshall were among those who spoke. Senior Julie Estid says the low participation was upsetting, but she also learned a lot. We really know much about any of these city council members, um, so it was really cool to get their background information and to get, you know, what they were specifically focused on. Like Pate, discouragement won't last long with Julie. She says now that she has learned, she wants to help network with others to spread the word. Pate says this is the first of multiple forums they plan on holding nearing the upcoming elections, but those dates have not yet been released. Tamara Scott, 9 on your side. Tamara, thank you.